Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to be making a fresh strawberry crisp. It is the best summer dessert ever. Made with locally grown juicy strawberries right here in Florida and topped with a buttery oat topping and almonds. We added those as well because almonds go so well with strawberries. Hang out with us and I'll show you how to put this quick recipe together. You will start by preheating your oven to 350 degrees and then we're going to grease a deep dish pie pan or you can use a glass dish. And I am using butter this time instead of my spray. So just make sure that you get that all buttered up real good or sprayed real good, depending on what you want to do. And then just set this aside. Now you will cap your strawberries and cut them in quarters. These are locally grown strawberries here in Florida. It's that time of the year and they are so sweet and juicy. So you will cap them and just quarter them and set them aside in another bowl. Now that we have the strawberries quartered, you will want to have four to five cups and you will add to it one tablespoon of almond extract and I am not measuring. I will be eyeballing it. You will also add three tablespoons of cornstarch and a quarter cup of white sugar. The cornstarch is going to enable your strawberries to thicken up and we all know what that sugar is going to do. And then you will just mix this. And after you get it mixed, you're just going to set it aside. These strawberries smell so good. That almond, just I think strawberries and almond, just those flavors together are so fresh. This will be perfect for a summer meal. You could even take this and cook it on your Traeger if you've got um, some ribs or chicken or brisket cooking. This would, um, this dish you could throw right on your Traeger as well. Okay, that's all mixed up. We're going to set this aside and start working on our topping. Next, you will take one stick of butter or a half a cup. And we're going to put it in our bowl here and we're going to put this over in the microwave and melt it. For our topping, we have one cup all-purpose flour. We have three quarters cup of old-fashioned oats. We have two-thirds cup granulated sugar, two-thirds cup brown sugar. We also have a half, half a teaspoon of salt and three-quarter uh, teaspoon of cinnamon and then of course it's going into the best ingredient the butter so we're going to start with our sugar and cinnamon our sugar our salt that's no sugar in there it was salt and um, cinnamon and then we will just add our other ingredients so there goes the flour you know that white stuff is the devil and then our brown sugar all these things to make that yummy topping. Our oats and our white sugar. And butter and sugar. There's nothing that smells any better. <laughs> this is, oh yeah, the cinnamon in it. That also helps to lift those um, smells. And then you're just going to stir this until it almost gets to a crumble. You'll have all of the wet ingredients. You won't see any more of this flour in there. And it's all crumbled. Make sure you get it off the bottom. Well, now since this has oats in it, does that make it healthy? And strawberries? Hmm. 
that's something to consider. <laughs> I reckon we could tell ourselves that. <laughs> So now we have our topping mixture mixed together. We're going to bring our strawberries back over as well as our pie pan. So this is where the strawberries are going to go in. And let me tell you, folks, these strawberries are delicious. Nothing better than Florida grown strawberries. Absolutely not. So our strawberries are in. And now we're going to top them with the topping. We're going to also top ours with a little bit of the almond. Since we um, use the almond flavoring, I also want to add a little bit more of the almond flavor to it. So now we'll start putting our topping on. Seems like a pretty simple thing to throw together, huh? This is very simple. And you can use it with all different types of fruit as well. Of course, this one is my favorite. I like it better than I do the apple crisp. Um, but also when peaches are in season, peach cr um, crisp is really good. Um, blueberry, blackberry, raspberry. Just not rhubarb. Uh, well, now that rhubarb is good if you had it in with your strawberries. Um, I, I don't particularly like rhubarb by itself. It needs something else. It just doesn't have enough flavor to it. So now we have that. And I'm going to top it with my almonds. And let's hope they don't get too brown in there. A little worried about that. Look at how beautiful that is. This is going in that oven. The oven is heated at 350 and it's going in for 35 to 40 minutes. Okay, she is out of the oven and she smells delightful. Um, hang out with me another minute. We're going to go get some dishes and we're going to plate this up. So we have this warm strawberry crisp and we topped it with some vanilla ice cream. And now for the real test, so good give us a thumbs up if you like this um subscribe and hit notifications so you will get a notification whenever we post a new recipe until next time stir the pot